Hi. Hello. You can take a seat right here. Now, have you ever participated in qualitative marketing research before? No. no. We're talking with working moms, so there's no right answer or wrong answer. We're just gonna talk about mom stuff. Okay. My kids are Oliver and Peter. And we have two kids, and my son's Wyatt, and he's seven. What do you think it's like being a working mom today? It's tough mentally. Hectic. <laughs> my, I feel like my brain never stops. I've got a constant like to-do list running through my head, and as I'm going to do something on the to-do list, I see five more things to do. It's like time is my biggest commodity, and like it's it's harder to see the kid. So it's definitely like the guilt, the mom guilt. Letting go, not having full control. I don't think that my patience is where it should be because I feel that there's not enough time in the day. Do you feel judged as a mom? There's plenty of like noise. Like if you listen to all that noise, you can definitely feel judged. I think like I'm my heart, the hardest judge on myself. I feel like I'm never doing enough. So I think like we're our own worst enemy. Yeah, I definitely struggle with mom guilt. Like I have five kids and I'm working. So, you know, going to a grocery store is like, I feel a little bit like a circus. <laughs> you just have this expectation. Like social media, I think that um, everybody is as perfect as they can be in a picture and they present that as a reality. Do you consider yourself a, a quote unquote good mom? I'm not a perfect mom. I know I'm screwing this up. I know I'm not doing this right. And that's just coming from my own inner voice. We're always never doing enough. That's how I feel. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> it's overwhelming in so many different ways, but rewarding in so many different ways. What do you think your mom would say about the job that you're doing as a mom? She wish I'd work less. I always got on to my mom for you know, being so protective and I, I understand where she's coming from now because anything can happen. No, actually, I have a confession to make. I'm not actually conducting qualitative marketing research oh. today. Are you a therapist? No. <laughs> I'm here to tell you something very important. You are doing a great job. <laughs> not a good job, a great job. And there's some more people who wanted to tell you that. Sarah is, um, I'm, the problem is I'm going to cry, so. <laughs> Melissa is the best mom. Um, <laughs> it's really hard to just describe the type of mother she is because I feel like when you naturally think of a mom, that's Melissa. Oh my God. Maria is an incredible oh my mom. God. <laughs> Maria is, um, she's a glue to our, to our family. Everett is just such a great kid. He's really sweet to my children. Um, he's respectful to adults, and I know that he gets that from his mother. Her number one thing is to teach Wyatt how to be caring and kind. He's a better man than I am, and he's only seven years old. Peter is a sweet boy as well. I can tell that his parents are doing an awesome job. Well, Maria is a beacon of joy, and you can definitely see that in her girls. Her girls are always happy and always smiling. Loves her children in a way that is amazing to me. She never thinks she does a good enough job, <laughs> but that's like all mothers. And I just want to say thank you for, for loving me and loving our family the way that you do. You're an incredible woman, and you deserve to be recognized for it. We're so grateful for your presence in our lives and for all of the things that you take care of for us. And I can't wait to continue this journey together. How do you feel after uh, seeing that? Loved, taken aback. <laughs> I feel appreciated. I have one more surprise okay. for you. 